So uh, I see many familiar faces and very happy faces. Greetings to our tobacco control champions and advocates. Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. The audiovisual presentation you have just seen gives you a glimpse of the people, places, and outstanding activities in making 100% tobacco-free environments in Luzon. It does not take power, but empower to be a Red Orchid awardee. I guess that would be more difficult because it does not take the power of one person to enforce tobacco control, but rather it takes the whole community or even the whole nation to be empowered to end the use and abuse of all forms of tobacco. Tobacco. The search for 100% tobacco-free local government units, government offices, and government hospitals, or what is popularly now known as the DOH Red Orchid Awards, is now on its fourth year, and the number is increasing for our awardees and nominees every year. From a mere 46 finalists and 8 winners in 2010 when we started, the number has gone up to 89 finalists and 30 winners in 2011 and even rose further to 113 finalists and 86 winners last year. Five L LGUs were elevated to the Hall of Fame for getting the DOH Red Orchid Awards for three consecutive years. This year, there is a staggering 170 finalists. And how many of them will be Red Orchid or Hall of Fame awardees? We will soon find out, starting today. Because of the large number of institutions and nominees participating in our DOH Red Orchid Awards, we have revised the award ceremonies and divided it into cluster awarding ceremonies in major islands of the country. We have this Luzon awarding today, Visayas on June 13, Mindanao in Cebu, the Visayas group will be uh, hosting the award in Cebu on June 13, and in Mindanao, June 20, in Davao City. In these clusters, we will recognize the red, pink, and white orchid awardees. The national awarding for the Hall of Fame awardees will be on July 2, at the Philippine International Convention Center. In addition to the Hall of Fame awardees on July 2, all the Centers for Health Development will be recognized during this event. We will see and compare how our Centers for Health Development fare in implementing tobacco control activities in their particular offices. In today's awarding ceremonies for Luzon Cluster, a total of 74 institutions will be recognized based on the strength of their comprehensive efforts to implement 100% tobacco-free environment. Following the WHO or World, World Health Organization Empower Initiative, which served as the basis for setting the indicators for the Red Orchid Awards. An LGU office or hospital implementing stricter regulations, more than what is set by our indicators, will be given bonus points. So do not be surprised if you will later hear a grade that is more than 100%. It just means that 
the institution is raising the bar in implementing tobacco control. The grading system we have used for the past four years is the same for LGU and government offices. However, an LGU must score 81 points and a government office must score 42 points to get 100% grade. So the number of points of the LGU is different from the number of points of a government office. A much higher grading system is used for our DOH hospitals and our DOH centers for health development. As Health Secretary Enrique T. Ona, whose birthday is today, that's why he is not available, but he will be around during the national awarding, puts it, hospitals and DOH offices should strictly follow the mandates of the law where there should be absolutely no smoking in all health facilities. There should be no excuse. The entire government hospital or DOH office must be a smoke-free zone. In fact, the secretary instructed us to give dirty ashtrays to DOH offices and health facilities that fail to enforce stricter tobacco control measures. Let's wait and see who gets the dirty ashtray. Those who will receive this citation will be publicized and posted in DOH publications and website, the social media networks. So be warned, DOH family. But for now, any institution that receives a grade lower than what we have set will receive a certificate of participation for their initiative of wanting to be tobacco-free. The white, pink, and red orchid awardees will receive likewise certificates on a mounted citra board as well as tarpaulin for outdoor display. The Red Orchid awardees, in addition, shall receive specially designed trophy, as well as the certificate and tarpaulin. Only the Red Orchid LGU awardees will be receiving a grant worth 100,000 of diagnostic kits from the Non-Communicable Disease Service, courtesy of ASEC Eric Tayag. <laughs> and the National Center for Pharmaceutical Access and Management. But please, we ask for your indulgence because the said kids are still being bedded. We will inform you as soon as they are awarded and they have been delivered to the Department of Health. For the Hall of Fame awardees, each awardee will receive a specially designed trophy as well as the certificate and tarpaulin. For LGU awardees, the other offices and hospitals and DOH offices will not receive the additional 500,000 cash grant but only the LGU Hall of Fame awardees. This is to support their sustained implementation of tobacco control efforts in their locality. At this point, I would like to recognize the validation team that has worked hard to deliberate on your scores and the corresponding awards. As I call your name, validation team members, please rise to be recognized. They are from the Department of Health.
So after this awarding, wag ho akong sisisitihin nyo. Sila ho. Silang nagbigay ng score. From the Civil Service Commission, please rise. From the Framework Convention on Tobacco Control Alliance Philippines or FCAP, please rise. Masisipag po yung mga validation team members natin. Talagang mahirap po mag-validate. Especially if you're going to far-flung municipalities. And finally, from the Philippine Ambulatory Pediatrics Association or PAPA, please rise. Mga pediatricians po yan. Sila po ang mga taong nagpapanalo or nagpatalo sa inyo. So don't blame me. And now, I would like to recognize the members of the National Awards Committee where I sit as chairperson. I'd like the members to please stand as I call your name. Director Edita De La Peña of the Civil Service Commission. Dr. Florante Trinidad of the World Health Organization. Mukhang hindi nakarating si Ante. Dr. Maricar Limpin of FCAP. Hindi rin nakarating si Maricar. Dr. Florian Valdez of PAPA. And last but not the least, Dr. Ivanho Escartin of the DOH National Center for Health Promotion. And I would like to recognize also the hard work and the preparations done by the officers and staff of the National Center for Health Promotions. Please stand. Thank you to all of you. They are the people behind this big event and also majority of the human and financial resources for the DOH Red Orchid Awards. And lastly, I would like to thank the DOH Center for Health Development Calabar Zone headed by Yusek Ted Herbosa and the officer in charge, Director 3, Dr. Corazon Flores and staff for being the host region for the Luzon Awarding Ceremonies Cluster. So thank you very much and let's enjoy the afternoon and the evening. Thank you.